What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the Crypto Blitz, your home for your crypto fix. I'm your host, Ripple Van Winkle. Hopefully, everyone's having an amazing day. It's Monday, September 23rd. Ah, September is coming to an end. That is very bullish for the crypto markets. Let's see if we can end this September in the green and carry it over to October, folks. October is usually a very bullish month for crypto, especially XRP with the swell event less than two weeks away. In this episode, we got a lot to go over. We're going to talk about China unbanning Bitcoin, Donald Trump and his comments on crypto and how it might save the U.S. from all of its debt. We're going to look at the Bitcoin cycle top and one analyst is calling we're going to see the parabolic blow off top in Q4, which is less than eight days away, folks. And then we're going to talk about what if history does repeat itself? What can we expect? So without further ado, let's jump into it. Bitcoin, $63,554. It's currently up 1.06% in the past 24 hours. Ethereum coming in at 2000 651. It's up 2.53%. USDT and USDC both coming in at their dollar pegs. It's XRP, mainly 58 cents. It wants to be 59 cents. It wants to attack that 60 cent region again. The key area of resistance that we have been battling for a couple of months now. It will give, it will break, and then on to 66 cents we go, folks. Total cryptocurrency market cap, 2 trillion. 240 billion. If you don't have your Lux Lines NFT, if you want to get involved in my project, the largest project on the XRP Ledger, who has given back over 1 million. That's right, 1 million XRP to our beloved holders. Fortnite Pride tier is the newest tier for this month. Warfare with a tier for last month, still a couple left. But if you're looking to get a big boy, we got the elders and females. We'll give you three points. On that rich list, which earned you three times more back XRP per month. Credit card or XRP accepted. Shop.luxlinesnft.com. Crypto news. CoinGate, they put out this. Donald Trump, he just made a bold statement on crypto. I'm not going to replay it because I don't know if I'm going to get a little strike for playing anything related to Trump. So I'll tell you what he said. He stated... I think crypto has got a great future. Maybe we will pay off the $35 trillion in debt with it. This is big. Could you imagine if crypto was used as the vehicle to pay off the U.S. debt? Holy folks, what a massive statement from Trump. The election is about two months away, coming to us in November. It's really going to pave out the future of crypto within the United States. Look, no matter who wins the election, the bull run is still going to be on. The question that we need to ask and what we need to figure out, which we will in a couple of months, is how high are these markets going to go? If Trump gets elected, I believe we see that 7 to 10 trillion. If he doesn't, we might only be sitting at 3 to 5 trillion in crypto by the end of this bull run. What do we need? Candidates in office who are all about crypto and the U.S. taking the lead and getting us the right policies and regulations set up so that major, major institutional money, and we could even see a rotation from the stock market coming into the crypto sector. That's what we need. That is the recipe for success here. If you want to see crypto go 10, 15, 20 trillion, well, it's simple. Trump gets in and he does policies, he does regulations, he puts U.S., in the lead of the crypto race, you will see a massive shift from the institutions and from the stock market into cryptocurrencies and big break in. China's about to unban Bitcoin. This is big. When we look at the landscape, the financial landscape around the world, and we talk about the US, we have 58 trillion, 58 trillion invested, right? from the institutions from every day in the in the markets. China comes in second with six, a little over six trillion. So you can see why it's so important that the US take the lead and we get the institutional money over to this space, to the cryptocurrency markets. But if China's gonna open up the floodgates, that could be an additional couple of trillion added on to the total 
And then you have Japan and India not too far behind. But what I think is that Japan and India are probably waiting for the U.S. to get their policies out there. And then they'll jump on in and they'll start to bring their money in. China's stone beast, they're going to do what they want when they want. So if they're going to let Bitcoin in, it's sooner or later, they're going to allow all of the cryptos into the market and to be traded as well. Something to keep your eye on. The moon Carl, moon boy himself. He said Q4 historically is the most profitable part of the year for Bitcoin. What is it going to be this, this time? Here's Bitcoin quarterly returns. As you can see, Q4. Plus 479%. Q3, which we're about to be out of, yeah, we usually get a little peanuts, 40% up. But Q4 is when we see the massive growth. Back in 2020, 168%. In 2017, 215%. Those were the years of the prior bull runs. 2013, when we first got started pretty much with crypto, 479%. Something to pay attention to here. They call it October for a reason. What is October about to bring us? Historically, we see XRP pump in October as well. Usually, we see a nice little pump leading up to the swell event. Did we already see the pump? Was that po <coughs> excuse me, possibly to push up to that 60 cent region? Maybe. Has it not occurred yet? Maybe as well. Well, we're going to find out in two weeks now, aren't we? Titan the Crypto said Bitcoin cycle type, type top. Is programmed by the end of year 2024. It says Bitcoin tends to top in three to four quarters after breaking market structure to the upside. If this pattern repeats itself, the cycle could top by the end of 2024, three months away, or in Q1 of 2025. These targets are all right around the corner. We told you the next six to 12 months in crypto are going to be life-changing. Now is not the time to get shaken out. Now is not the time to start to chase green. All boats will rise. Some boats will rise a lot harder and faster due to you know who's building on top of the networks, the utility that they have. But everything is going to rise once Bitcoin decides it's going to go absolutely parabolic. Nothing has changed on our Bitcoin targets. I'm still expecting right around at $100,000 region by the end of the year. I'm expecting about a 150 to 175 Bitcoin blow off top with the possibilities of seeing a quarter of a million dollar Bitcoin. But those targets are coming later in 2025. This is what we need to pay attention to. If you're not excited, if you're not bullish, folks, I don't know what else is going to get you bullish. This is what we are prepared for. We have been dollar cost averaging and buying crypto because we know this is the bull run time, the bull cycle time. We knew about the halving years in advance when it was going to occur. And we've been stocking up because when we look at the historic data and we look what usually occurs, I said what always occurs after the halving, the prices go absolutely wild. We have a decade of data to back this up. There is nothing out there saying that there is no bull run. A lot of people put narrative out there that because Bitcoin already broke its all-time high before having, that that was the bull run. No, we just got spoiled because institutional money from the ETFs came into the markets and took it above all-time high. We have not seen that parabolic blow up, that parabolic explosion. That is still yet to come. When Bitcoin's going to move, you're going to know when it makes this move and it's go time because it's going to be absolutely explosive. First targets we're going to eye out, 74K. Once that gets broken, we're going to be up in that $88,000 region. And the next thing you know, we're going to be talking about $100,000 Bitcoin. What am I doing right now? It's simple. My money's on the sidelines right now. Why is my money on the sidelines? Well, I still believe that Bitcoin may have the potential to dip back and retest that lower to mid $50,000 region. If that does happen, we will see a dip across the entire market. We will see a dip that I will be taking advantage of. One crypto that I have been very, very vocal on that I will be loading up on is Quant. Uh, not Quant, excuse me, I buy Quant every week, is Velo. Velo is one I am on the sidelines for right now. If we pull up the Velo chart, it's just chilling at one and a half cents. If this gets back down to a penny, and that's a big if, I will be buying myself a couple of million Velo out those price tags. You ask why? Well, I believe Velo has the potential to run to 60 cents. 
if my DCA, which it currently is, is a penny and it goes 60 cents, I'm sure you can do the simple math on this thing. It's going to be a 60x. I usually only aim for about a 5 to 10x. So if you want to give me a 60x or even a 30x to be super conservative, I'm going to take it. And you should be taking it as well. If you didn't hear the video yesterday, Ripple versus SEC, countdown's coming to an end. I believe we're a little less than two weeks, or right around that two-week time frame, folks. Is the SEC going to screw us again last minute? Are they going to appeal? Or is this lawsuit really over? Remember, Stuart Alderati came out and said it's done. TikTok, that's what I got to say. All eyes on the lawsuit. If we don't get an appeal, I would expect XRP makes a little bit of a pump and we get above that 60 cent resistant area. If we do get an appeal, I would expect that the price is going to go down a little bit. But it doesn't phase us because the end of the year target for XRP still remains the same. The same thing I've been preaching since Q1 of this year, 75 cents. That's it. That's all we need. 2025 is our year. It is the time for XRP. I'm going to leave it like that. Look, wash them hands. Be nice and be kind of each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.